On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, Smashers has returned with the Smashers Junior Dino Dig. And a big thanks to Squirrel Liber, Giselle Burrow, Hot 4781 for requesting this. Probably the most intense request I've seen in years, just getting on it daily saying day one, day two, day three, when are you gonna review Smashers? So sometimes persistence works out, so here we go, Smashers Jr. And oh Dino, these are heavy, they are loaded with Dino Clay Compound, about two pounds for the large egg, one pound for the medium egg, looking at a Brontosaurus egg in large and a Velociraptor in small, and a few others available out there. It looks to be a little bit of a different experiment with the Smashers Dough Clay Dino Fossil. We'll find out as we go through, so join along as we discover Smashers Junior Dino Dig. Squirrel Stampede! Share! And a Squirrel Live! So which Smashers Junior Dino Dig do we go first? Uh, the large egg at one kilogram or 2.2 pounds what? of dough in four colors. Cute Brachiobrontosaurus on the pack. And or the smaller egg, uh, the 500 gram, 1.1 pound uh, Velociraptor pack. Both should fry you up a very delicious dinosaur egg. Let's go with the Brontosaurus, shall we? As we dug out that great Robo Alive Brontosaurus a few months back. Again, these eggs, they're so heavy. One kilogram, 2.2 pounds of colorful dough inside this bad boy. Smashers Jr. collect them all. I believe there's two large eggs, so there's a Brontosaurus and a T-Rex large egg, and then smaller eggs, a Raptor, Stegosaurus, and Triceratops, which I never really saw anywhere on shelf near me. Is this new, old, I don't know. It says 2023, is this a non-states release Smashers item? I had to dig a little bit and only finding them so far at walmart.com. Shall we zip the zipper? It's got a very matte feeling graphic. I think it'll pull really well. Or not. I don't think these manufacturers really know what a pull zipper is. I don't know if that was extremely satisfying or extremely terrifying. Ready to crack open? Right through the center. Yowza! So here's what we're looking at inside five packages to smash open instructions to build our Brachiosaur, Brontosaur, stickers, cyan is really interested in the cyan bag. So plenty there in there. I don't see a map to get into this thing, so I think we'll just grab a bag and open. How about this red one to start, red orange? Feels like it could be a mold, maybe. Some shaping device. What? Or the body of a Brachiosaur. Probably should have saved that one for last, what do you think? The rest of these bags pretty heavy. Probably at least half a pound of compound in there. Open in yellow, which is resealable. It's packed, what, what? I smell some dough. And sure enough, got a giant blob of orange, an orange blob of dope, plus a mold. And this could be where the Smasher's name is worthy. The mold here is a chicken bone, a meat bone, I should say, of, well, anything, not chicken, probably dinosaur. But look at this, we can put a bone in and cast out a mold. So see if we can get this right. I don't know about this compound though. It may have sat frozen in a facility for a long time. I'm gonna do half a chunk of orange and smash it in there. Once again, using the smasher's name, right? I don't think it has to be perfect because we can clean it up. Then I could take the bone. This is a really fun idea. You don't see this enough. Uh, we'll throw the bone in. Then we'll take another smash of this and it's really cold. It's very cold and then I'll just crush it in here or shall I say smash again. Ugh. Probably shouldn't have done this before lunch. This looks really yummy. All right, so I gave it the best squeeze possible and maybe use a little less compound than I did. Unfold, and we've got a Smasher's Dino Leg here. Oh, what a perfect fun idea. We'll just peel off the remaining uh, kibble meat here. And if you're careful, just take like a plastic knife, cut around all the meat on the edges and put right there. That is such a great idea. 
That is so fun. Mold it a little more and you've got a chicken turkey dinosaur bone. Delicious. How does it taste? Not gonna lie, a little bit doughy. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that because now my teeth are all orange. Well, that's a fun bag to start with, right? I'll just put the bone over here. The squirrels can see it. And I'll take the orange here and I'll replace into these bags so that it kind of stays fresh. And I think the more I, I warm this up and heat it up, it's starting to look better too. So blue next, or how about green over here? Let's try the green, it's nice and bright. About half a pound again. And you guessed it, if you guessed green compound, it's actually more of a, a yellow compound. And it's really crumbled. So not green compound, but more of a yellow orange compound with a bunch of molds. There's a palm tree and a volcano and a dino foot, not for our Brachiobronto, uh, a bone. And yeah, oh, what's this? An egg. I have not discovered anything yet to continue the build of our Brachio. I don't know about this clay. If this stuff is salvageable, it's been in a nice warm spot, but it's just really, really rubbery. It's a very rubbery dough. Um, so might need just a little bit of water or it just might need a little bit of squeeze. Shall we build? We just did a bone-like substance. Let's try the volcano. And uh, well, these are really basic molds. You're not gonna get much, much out of these. Uh, we'll just smash this in like so. Again, using the keyword. What's the keyword of today? Smashers. And smash that down. And wow, I, oh, there we go. Peeled it right out, so our, our little volcano isn't that fun. So a few different little molds here. I'm more interested in building our Brachiosaur, so hopefully I'll find it in our next bag. Two bags left, let's shoot for blue now. Guess the color. Oh, it's actually blue. And a giant head. How about that, a huge Brontosaurus head? How is, how is this body gonna support the weight of that head? I don't know, that head is huge and a lot of blue compound. What is the scale of this? It's so heavy, it's like the size of a regular Smashosaur. Yeah, it's just asking me, asking me to open up its jaws, but they do not open, they are closed shut. That is one heavy head. As for our blue compound, much better than the last bag. This is a little more consistent, I feel. It's funny how different colors react in different ways. This is a better compound. Uh, it just needs to be worked in a little bit as I accidentally work in a little bit of yellow into that. So a pretty good chunk of blue, and we'll use it to kinda get off the chunks here, off my brontosaurus here. Wow, again, what a head. And well, can we attach it to the body? Most likely right here. And we've got the start of our Brachiosaur. Oh boy, it's really heavy. Oh, ow. Oh, are you all right, buddy? Ow. Oh gosh. Oh, ah. That is so heavy. Gotta get some legs for this dude fast. One of the heaviest, heaviest I've seen. So let's get this back into its container and onto our final, another half pound bag of Smashers Jr. Junior. Her legs. And there's the green. Did they get the color bags mixed up, I wonder? The green looks like someone vomited up a green slushy icicle ice pop. Yeah. Four legs inside. And I'm happy to report the legs feel pretty heavy. So maybe they will support that giant head of Brontosaurus. I think these are the back legs though. These go back here, these go up here. As for our slushy green compound, it just needs to be squeezed and worked a little bit. It's a very waxy, very waxy uh, compound dough. Never kind of seen it this waxy like before. Maybe just cause it's been packed in a bag and not say a plastic container. But a good assortment of color here. All right, shall we build our dino? Pretty big, and I'm pretty sure these are the front legs. The front looks smaller than the back, and they just click right in. That's a relief. Yep, 
Yeah, she's really adorable. That huge head, baby dinosaur on feet there, little tiny body, a lot to grow into. Juxtaposed next to our bone Robo Alive Brachiobronto. That actually is a Brachio, I believe. Yep, that head says Brachio. Um, look how adorable that is. The scale of this dinosaur is approximately eight to nine inches, closer to eight and a half maybe. And again, that giant head. I can't say enough about that giant head. How is that neck even supporting that head? It's really quite fun. It's gonna stand really fun on a shelf of dinosaur if you collect a lot of different dinosaur species. You could totally just set this one up in the back and it will poke its head up over. So a fun expedition kit. We have some stickers too. It's not Smashers without stickers, right? There's our Bronto again in sticker form. Puffy sticker form. Nice and rigid. Then a volcano. Smashers volcano. And... Oh, they're stuck. Oh, there's that bone. Chicken dinosaur meat bone we worked on. The green. That's probably the green Velociraptor. I think. I think. And an egg. Oh, the classic uh, egg from uh, all those Smashers minis. So fun dinosaur pack, large scale egg. There should be a T-Rex out there too. If you find one with the probably red feet, you'll find the giant T-Rex. As I had the blue legged footed egg, and then we'll check out the smaller egg. We'll check one small egg today, the Raptor, right in the center, I believe. Gotta say, I really like this compound experiment, dinosaur meat bone with the bone inside meat around. That was really clever. So now let's clear the room for the medium sized egg, which is still pretty terrifically scaled. Again, 500 grams or 1.1 pounds of dough with three colors inside. This should be the Velociraptor. We got a Velociraptor on cover, red foot, so they're just identifying a lot easier in this time around. So we'll find some interesting things inside this Junior Dino Dig. Will it open though? That's the question. Bronto back there is just eyeing to see if this zipper will open. No. Almost have it. Got it. Whoa, that was so close. And just tear off the facing. Of course, we have the second pull tab. Funny how some work so well and others are excruciating painful. Well, there's our small medium sized egg. Let's crack open. Oh, that was a tight one and more fun inside. Three bags with this one. Will we see another bone squishing experiment with this one? What is 1.1 pound divided by three? What could that be? We'll try blue first. Maybe the compounds will actually be in the right color bags this time, right? They are. And I think, I think we've got the head. That's creepy. Ah! Another solid giant Smashers Junior head. Whoa, Rolly. Oh, it reminds me of Digimon. In the comments, name the dinosaur Digimon. What was that name? Uh, okay, and some blue clay. Oh, there's something else too. We've got another volcano mold. So some repetition on the molds. And the clay, or dough, is Maybe a little bit better than what we saw in the large egg. It feels more like dough. It looks more like dough. It has less of a waxy, waxy appearance. Interesting. Well, we don't need too much of that right now. Let's continue. So let's check on into that orange bag here. Ooh, this one feels heavier than the previous one did. And it's got to be more of this really bright orange. And a bone and a bunch of body parts. I see arms and legs. Feels like more than that though. Maybe a tail too. This is back to the way it was in the first round. It's waxy, has this waxy look. A couple bones now. We got a green bone and a orange bone. So we'll have enough parts here to build. Hopefully this has got to be our torso. Funny, we began with the torso and I think we're ending with the torso. That's something to talk about at the dinner table. You know a squirrel stampede, he started with a torso, and he ended with a torso. And there is our torso. Is it really a torso though when we're talking dinosaur? It's more of a body. It's not like a human torso. How many times have I used the word torso? Green compound, it's more of that slushy, icy green, something you would get at 
a 7-Eleven or a Quickie Mart that had um, ice, ice drinks, icy drinks. And another foot, got another foot. Lots of molds with these, that's kind of the deal. And so Raptor Building 101, and of course John Hammond has to be here for this. He insists to be near all hatching and building of baby Velociraptor here at Jurassic Stampede. Let's start with these back legs. Oh, they click in so solid. That's, that's so unheard of in Smasher's verse. It's always a leg that just pops off again later. Uh, the fact that these smash in huge is a hundred points of appreciation. Get another leg in there, if I, can, if I can get there. And they do have a little articulation too. I may not have mentioned that with the uh, Bronto Bracco. Okay, a foot arm. Almost a T-Rexian like raptor here. We don't really have a claw on the feet protruding and the head is almost Rex like too. Could go for either either species in my book. Uh, oh, oh, you know what? I take it back. The claws are popping up a little bit there. So yeah, definitely Velociraptor. They looked flat at first. Oh, that is just too much fun. Too cute with the Junior Smashers Baby Dinosaur series. If you collect a lot of dinosaur items like I do, it's just gonna be fun to have them. The eyes, the way their eyes, they're so huge. What do you think about this, Hammond? Uh -huh. Cutesy, cutesy, cutesy. Oh! Ah! Ah, the boss or after baby just ate John Hammond of Jurassic Park. Oh no. Well, I'm certainly impressed. I'm not so much interested in the compound dough. It's a fun diversion. I'm more interested in the build a figure. Quick scaling on this one puts it between five and six, about five and a half inches in height, maybe five inches in width. And the other tykes available, the Triceratyke and the Stegosaurus also out there. I think I found my favorite, uh, my favorite here today. The Stego would be fun too. Oh, and some stickers included. Not puffy like the large egg, just flat stickers. There's more of that meat. There's a cute little baby green again and our baby blue back there. Well, I certainly had fun with these. Glad they were recommended. Several more collected. Just not sure where to get these yet as, again, I have not seen a full release of these. Walmart had them. Let me know if you've seen them out and about. The package says 2023 on them. And yeah, so maybe I just never went down the right aisle. But it's cool to see Smashers in this form too as it was pretty pretty fun experiment today. So that's the Smashers Junior Dino Dig. I would say they fit just right in with all the other Smashers items. Do not let the Junior scare you away. They are perfectly fun to collect, especially if you like a variety of all dinosaurs. And are you a superior squirrel watcher? Okay, here's the rules I'm working on. For the winter quarter, if you comment superior squirrel watcher in the comments, I will tally them up at the end of winter. Whoever has superior squirrel watched the most, or if it's an equal number, I'll draw from a hat. And at the end of winter, I will pull a name for a squirrel stampede t-shirt or a plushie, something cool I'll send over to you for the winner. It's going to have to be stateside entry only right now because of shipping purposes, and of course, have Guardian approved. So we'll have a little fun with this and we'll tweak and match as we get into the spring season. So there you go, there's the rules of the Superior Squirrel Watcher. Thanks for watching today, that's what I have to say about that. <laughs>